Hi everyone, it's Mindy from My Creative Scoop and I'm back with another Copic Marker tutorial for Ellen Hudson. This month I'm using this brand new stamp set called Dynamite Christmas and it has a couple of different little dinosaurs and some really adorable sayings. So this month I'm going to be sharing with you how to color this dinosaur here and we're also going to be using our blender pen to create texture. So let's get started. Okay, so I've stamped my image in Memento black ink and I've stamped it onto my Copic Express It blending card which is my favorite paper to use when I'm coloring with my Copic markers. So the color combination that we're going to be using is YG67, YG63, YG61 and of course the zero which is the colorless blender. I'm going to start with my YG67 and I'm going to go ahead and put down color where all the shadows should be. So since the dinosaur's neck is turned, I want to create a shadow right underneath his face and coming down the side of his neck. Also a little bit coming up from the bottom of his neck and all along the bottom of his belly, on the back part of his little legs there. And then the back leg is going to be pretty much fully colored in with the darker color since it's behind and it's on the inner part of the leg we want to show that the, that there's a shadow right underneath the on the inside parts of the legs. Also going to make a little shadow going underneath the tail. And then I'm just going to make this a little bit thicker. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and take the YG63 and I'm going to continue working the color up. So I'm pulling some of that darker YG67 into the YG63 and pulling the color up so that way it gets lighter as it's coming up. I'm really going to go a lot thicker just so there's just a little bit left for the YG61 for that really light color. And we're just going to ignore those little polka dots that are on his back and we will get to those in just a little bit. So now I'm going to take my YG61 and again we want to really work that color out. So I'm pulling some of the YG63 into that YG21 or I'm sorry YG61. Okay, so still a little blotchy, so I always like to go back and add a second coat. Sometimes you need to add that second coat in order to really get those colors moving on the paper and blending and mixing together. So I'm just going back to touch up where I have those shadowed areas. And we're re-adding those darker shadowed areas back in since going over them a few times with the lighter color has a tendency to kind of wash it out. And then now with my YG63, And then again with my YG61. Okay. 
Okay, so now for those little spots on his back, let's go back with our YG67. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of a shadow going right on the bottom of each of those little circles. And then I'm going to take my YG63 and just give a little flick. And I'm also going to go back with my YG67 and I'm just going to color in all his little toes, all those little toenails. Okay, so now with the colorless blender, we want to create a scaly look to our dinosaur. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lay the nib of the, blend, of the colorless blender down in certain spots, and I'm just gonna leave it there for a few seconds. So that way the ink really runs out and it really creates that circle for that texture. So I'm just gonna leave it there for a few seconds, and as you can see, it, it leaves a little bit of a, of a spot where the color is pulling away, so that way it's making room for the solution of the colorless blender. So I'm gonna make them all of different sizes, so I'm gonna use the, at the tip of my nib for a couple of them. And then I'll lay my nib out a little bit more to make a little bit of a larger texture mark. So I'm really focusing on the back and a little bit underneath. Notice I'm not leaving the marker or the nib of the colorless blender on the bottom part very long as long as I did up here and that's partially because it's darker down here so it's not going to take as much ink to start spreading it out to, to give it that effect and up here's a little bit lighter so you need to leave the nib on there just a little bit longer so I'm also going to go ahead and add a little bit of texture up here on his face And then I'm going to take my YG63 and I just want to make those little scales stand out a little bit more. So let's zoom in a little bit more. And right along the bottom, I'm just going to give a little trace. And you don't have to go on all of these little marks that we've added, but the ones that are, you know, the bigger ones or the ones that are a lot darker, just it really brings them out and adds that texture. So I just like to go along the bottom and just give it a little bit of a shadow. Now the YG63 is going to be a little bit lighter. So the little marks that you made down here, you, it's not gonna show up. So if you want to define those down there, you'll have to use a darker color. So we'll use the YG67. Alright, so there you have it. I love the way this looks. This is the only way that I really like to use my blender pen to create different textures. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you again next time. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.